everybody. Um, this first poem that I'm going to read is from a Pook Press's anthology, and it's called Sometimes. It's a poem in three parts. Sometimes. One. Stone. Taking the chisel, I set the blade against the face of a stone. Take a breath. Hold. Strike with a mallet. The impression is soft and malleable. I place the wedge of blade again, check the angle. I want depth, must ensure shadow is held within. Strike. My arms tire at this forming of letters, each against stone. But you ask me to tell the story. I work my way across the loop of G and Q, the straight, the combos of round and straight. I keep the letters few. The effort is within the gut. The blows take life breath from me. I stop, lower the hammer. In North Light, I lean, purse my lips, blow the dust of words, step back. Two, paper. How can the round of O, the straight of T, the black, the white, hold the sharp shape of horror? How can letters freeze description for the life of ink, the preservation of life through paper? How do weighted words not fall through the sheet Pass through cement foundation, dirt, basalt, shale, to the inner core of earth. What makes them stay still on the page? What stops their fall? Three, sand. Sometimes I take a stick and draw the point through sand. Sand beaten by waves is firm. A horse runs on hard sand. Hooves mark horseshoes across the place where water slaps and gasps back. Water erases, wind draws. Shorebirds make letters with the small forks of their feet. Sometimes their mouths Gape, open like mine. Sometimes I lift a hand of sand, pick through bits of shell, rock, scoured glass, hold fasts and dry algae strands. Sometimes I pull a stick through that debris, write the acid parts of the hole. The three of them stomped her knees, peed on her. Reflex neurovascular dystrophy, miscarriages, hyaline membrane disease, pyloric stenosis, rape, rapes, heinous acts, nervous breakdown, premature labor, poverty, malnutrition, no fresh fruit or vegetables. She walked in the road hoping a car would hit her. She thought the baby would look like grandpa. Her counselor telling me to let her go, go insane. Sick, sick, no divorce alone, too hard. I can't do anymore, I'm not enough. The sand grains fall down the steep inclines of the inscribed letters. The wind blows across the sand. My hair whips. The corners of my shirt flash wraps around me. The sand of the highest letters takes wing and stings my face. I hear a shout. Remember, this is vacation. 
Remember, I am not alone. Take the heel of my foot, scuff the trace of blood red letters, turn my face away. Under these clothes are scabs, each mouth's mother. <laughs>